Oh, hey there. Welcome. I'm going to give you some tips today for how to survive a plane ride when you have an anxiety disorder or OCD. Um, I recently was on a trip to Paris where I had, it was I think a seven hour plane ride to Paris and then about eight or nine hours from Paris back to Chicago. So I'm going to give you some tips on what I did and what made it easier for me. Again, I'm not a licensed psychologist or therapist. Um, every general anxiety disorder and OCD is different, but this is what worked for me and maybe you can try it and it will make it easier for you. First thing I did was on the way there I took um, some sleeping medicine. Um, if you are on medication for any other, um, you know, for your mental illness or anything, make sure you check with your doctor to make sure that they don't interact badly. Um, so I took that, it gave me about 30 minutes of sleep, so not a lot, um, but it did help a little bit. Um, and then I didn't take any on the way back, and I can't tell which one was worse. So you, it's kind of trial and error, but that is good to have on the plane with you in case you want to just make sure you have another option. The second thing is make sure you have big headphones. Music is a huge distractor, and it's definitely something that can calm you down. Um... I think it's important to have ones that cover your ears completely, so the big ones, not just earbuds, because they block out more sound, so it'll help you to feel like you're not really on a plane as much as it can help. Um, I also had a system where I would listen to 10 songs and then check the distance the plane was from the destination. On most planes nowadays, you have a little screen that says how far you are from your destination. So I would listen to 10 songs and then check in. This was a really great way um, to feel like I was being productive as well as giving my mind something to do and waiting to get to the destination. Um, it was also important that it was 10 every time because I could count and see what song I was on. Um, and it was also something that gave me a way to tell time other than just looking at it every 10 seconds. Um, if you're worried about your phone running out of battery, I found that if you put your phone on low power mode, um, if you have an iPhone, it should be good for the whole trip. Um, if you are worried about that, every plane does have a place for you to plug in your headphones to listen to the music that the plane um, just provides for you. Um, they have a few different stations, but the only problem is you'll encounter that it's usually the same like 20 songs over and over again. So you can listen to that for about two sets of the 10, um, and then you don't have to worry about running out of battery for sure because then you'll be set. Um, I found that this was really the best way for me to handle it. I did it straight for nine hours. I did 10 sets of 10 over and over again on my iPod. So make sure that you have plenty of music on your phone. Take up nine hours or however long your flight is. Um, something else that helps if you want to feel grounded is to play a music video in your mind. Make sure your eyes are closed. And you can put a music video to the song as well as kind of dance in your seat a little bit. Not enough to draw attention or anything, but as long as you're just moving a little bit, tapping your foot, maybe just tapping your finger, something to keep your body occupied as well as your mind, that'll help a lot as well. I personally would write my name over and over again with my finger and tap my foot, um, and I found that those were really helpful. Um, in addition, just as far as what you're going to want to wear, make sure you have layers on because this helps you feel like you have control over your wardrobe and everything, and that uh, you can put on layers and whatnot. Make sure you have a blanket so that if at any point you want to just put it over your com body completely and block out the surrounding stimuli, that'll be super helpful. Um, bring a backpack or something, don't stow it on the top or under your seat, put it on your lap because it'll help you feel grounded as well as hugging it will give you comfort. Um, that being said, personally for me, I like to feel grounded, I like to have connection to solid objects so I don't have my mind get away from me. So I was in economy, just straight up economy, it's basically the cheapest thing you can get and that way you have a seat really close to you and next to you, that way you don't have to worry about um, having too much space, it helps you feel more secure. Um, I was in economy plus on the way back and that wasn't too bad but I definitely preferred economy. Um, you're going to want, what I personally did is I had a hat, like a beanie that I had, I put it over my eyes and my nose and then put an eye mask on top of that beanie and then had my headphones on the very top. This blocked out any outside stimuli that I could have as well as covering my nose to make me feel like I wasn't like losing oxygen or anything. Um, and this was super helpful. Um, this is all on the way back. Um, as far as just the mindset, just remember that you do have people on board that can help you if you need it. Um, airline um, 
people are super ready to help you with anything you would need is if you want a destination to kind of think about for a safe place. Um, the bathroom doesn't have any windows. I know that windows are a big thing for me, so that gives you a safe zone. Um, so don't go there unless you absolutely need to, but that'll just give your mind a situation because um, I know that a lot of the problem with OCD and anxiety is feeling like you're not in control. So this gives you control to get up and go there if you have to, but don't do it unless you absolutely need to. Um, also, try to get a middle seat. Um, don't go by the windows because then you'll be able to look out the windows and that'll just exasperate any anxiety you have, um, especially if you have a fear of heights. Um, I think that's everything. I hope that this helped you. And as always, you matter. I'm here if you need me. Bye.